YouTube, what is up? It's your boy Knowledge here from Gamers Little Playground, and today we got some big news on the Halo front. So Bonnie Ross today, the general manager at 343 Industries, officially announced Halo 5 Guardians today, and it's due to be released fall of 2015, so it's still almost a year and a half away. Um, I know a lot of you are going to be disappointed by that because... Uh, the, the trailer at E3 last year said, you know, your new Halo journey is going to begin this year, 2014. Um, but it's, it's been ambiguous. Like, we, there's, it's been, people have been wondering whether that was really Halo 5 or not. And I think more they were just trying to announce Halo on Xbox One. So, Bonnie Ross made sure to say, so she announced that Halo 5 will be coming out next year. And there's a lot of information that I'm going to share in a little bit. But also, she also said in the end... I did say that Halo, the Halo journey will begin on Xbox One in 2014, and that's still true. A Halo FPS for a new generation of hardware that will take full advantage of the power and flexibility of Xbox One. A Halo engine enhanced by the power of cloud computing, dedicated servers, and for the first time on console, a Halo experience that runs at a blistering 60 frames per second. All right. In 2014, Halo combat will truly evolve, and your journey with Halo on Xbox One begins. Thank you. So, if we go by that, that means there's going to be another Halo game still coming out this year. And obviously the, the big hope and speculation has been that it's going to be the Halo 2 anniversary. Now honestly nobody knows that for sure. Everybody just keeps speculating that. There's all these little leaks where, where like the voice of Master Chief for example said that Halo 2 anniversary was going to come out and then he backed away from that comment. So who knows, I mean I, I really really hope they do remake Halo 2 for the Xbox One. For sure, there's something coming, and I, I don't think that she would she would say that if it was just a TV show or something like that. I mean, there's a legitimate Halo game that's going to come out this year. She said more information will come out for sure at E3, so on June 9th this year at E3. So we have a lot to look forward to, but as far as, far, as, far as Halo 5, I'm personally, I'm glad that they're going to delay it because I thought... 2014 was too soon i mean the 2012 they had just released halo 4 and like if anything I, I don't mind delays as long as they get the game right and halo 4 for the most part i thought it was a great game personally i mean the multiplayer could have been touched up a lot sooner but overall it had a great campaign and the multiplayer was actually fun so as long as they get everything right and she goes on to say you know you could read the blog post i'll link it below but just to paraphrase she just said that every game, every Halo game, new, ga new game in the series is always kind of a, a landmark for the Xbox. And that's the way they're approaching it this time around too. Like they, they want to they wanna make sure that they use everything out of, out of the Xbox One. Like they, they utilize the entire power of the Xbox One. So, I mean, it seems to me that they were planning to release it in 2014, but they decided that they, they really wanted to perfect the game. She says it's the largest undertaking they've ever taken as far as con scope and content. So that's exciting. I mean, I know that's what she's supposed to say, but for the most part, every new main game in the series is delivered. One, two, three, and even Reach. Some people didn't like it, but I mean, it's a polished game. I, you can say that about it for sure. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to share this information. I'll leave the blog post in the link below. Uh, like I said, the image... It's also there's she has some images on the blog post and you see there's uh that looks like this is gonna be the cover of the game as well. And if you notice too the the top guy is a forerunner, it seems like, and the bottom is obviously Master Chief. So if you know the story, you know that the forerunners are the guardians of the galaxy and that they didn't want to pass the mantle of responsibility to, to humans, or at least uh the didact didn't. But the librarian wanted the humans to take over for the mantle responsibility so maybe there's some sort of duality going on here some that's why they're being reflected they're one in the same i don't know there's, there's a lot of things we can read into it but it's, re it's really just a teaser right now still e3 will know a lot more 
But leave some thoughts below. What do you think the image tells us about the game? Um, what do you guys wish for Halo 5 to have? And what's, like, what's your wish list? Uh, let us know. Leave it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys later. If you enjoyed this vid, make sure you like, comment, and share. Follow us on Twitch and Twitter and like us on Facebook. Remember, more subs creates more buzz, so make sure you subscribe.